Langaroca are an international engineering enterprise delivering a variety of projects across Australia. What we're building here is a new clinical services building for Blacktown Hospital and it's an extension of the existing hospital which is behind the site um, linked underground via some service tunnels and this is really to expand the capability of the existing facilities they can offer here at Blacktown. The clinical services building that we're currently standing in is a centrepiece of the $322 million redevelopment of the Blacktown and Mount Druitt campuses. As on many health infrastructure projects, uh, there's an emphasis on future proofing and also on modular construction, making sure that elements are standardised uh, so we get consistency in delivery and quality. Langer Rourke proposed that as part of their tender and that offered a point of difference. DFMA is our phrase uh, for design for manufacturing and assembly and it really just means designing something so it can be built off-site in a factory environment and then delivered to a site and installed. The benefits of modular construction are really taking the work away from the construction site. So you take away the risk of interruption from weather, uh, problems with deliveries, getting a lot of additional guys to, to the site, having to park, having to have welfare. Um, it just takes all that away from an area which is already pretty hectic and, and can be quite dangerous. Um, and it also guarantees that the quality of what's coming is to a factory standard. We decided to do modular bathrooms for Blacktown Hospital because the client was really keen to have a project that, that trialled the use of bathroom pods on this scale. There was sufficient um, repetition in the sort of size and the type of bathrooms here that it made it possible. We're putting in 166 bathroom pods here, um, which represents about 85% of the bathrooms in total that are going into this project. Some of the benefits of modular construction, uh, particularly here at Blacktown, improved quality standards uh, for different building elements, including the bathroom pods. The quality is probably better or equivalent to uh, anything that's actually delivered on site in situ. Uh, and also time savings in the overall delivery of the project. We had uh, prototypes delivered for the bathroom pods and it enabled the, the clinicians and the end users to have a first look at what they were getting you know, 12 or 18 months in advance of the actual delivery of the project. I think in terms of lessons learned uh, for the next project, we'd like to model the bathroom pod in 3D and have it as part of our 3D model for the project. Um, it would allow us to plan the logistics of moving the pods around the building and making sure that they integrate with the rest of the building. So on Blacktown Hospital, in addition to the bathroom pods, we're also building all of the services risers that contain all the ductwork um, in a prefabricated form, which we just drop into the building, uh, and all the modules which carry all the services down the corridors, so all of the cabling, all of the pipework, all the ductwork, they're all built off-site and, and brought in and just fixed to the ceiling. We're also looking at building sections of the roof in a modular form to take away the risk of working up at height. And obviously the facade that you can see behind me, all of the brick pattern panels and all of the concrete are all built off-site and brought in as finished products. The partnership between Health Infrastructure and Langer Rock on the Blacktown project has delivered a first for New South Wales Health Infrastructure in the modular construction, both in the bathroom pods and also the service risers and service modules in the, in the new clinical services building. We have an extensive experience of doing this in the UK where we've done bathroom pods and you know, services modules, plant rooms, right through to completed corridors, data centres, you, know, you name it, we've done it. We see DFMA um, and modular construction as the future of the industry across the whole of construction, not just healthcare. It's something that we, we're taking very seriously in Australia. So without a doubt, that's the way the future of the construction industry is going to go.